Yo, what's up guys, Complies here. So in today's video, we're gonna be watching the brand new Apex Legends Season 10 gameplay trailer. And then after that, I'm gonna be breaking it down and giving my thoughts on everything. So make sure you stick around for that. But before we get into the video, guys, if you guys do enjoy this video and you like my content, please remember to leave a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification button as well so you don't miss any future videos. Links to all my other social medias are in the description as well. But most importantly, please be sure to follow me on Twitch where I stream Apex just about every other day. Now let's watch this trailer through real quick. This is my first time watching this. And then afterwards, we're gonna be watching it again and I'll be breaking down each and individual thing that I saw. So yeah, let's get right into it. We dared to dream of a world filled with love. Hold on, let me help you. But the earth crumbled beneath our feet. Interesting. And shattered into the stars above. I wish they would just destroy Harvester already. The blaze will not cast us into despair. Big emphasis on Bloodhound so far. But inspire beauty. Wings unfurled. New character? Okay. Okay, respawn. See, it looks pretty cool. Delete Revenant from the game already, though. This is getting annoying. His aim is nuts. More Bloodhound emphasis. Oh my god. This guy definitely Kovaxes. Holy crap. Melee lunge be like. Knows only hunger. Yeah, what's up with Bloodhound? Flex of slaughter left on Talos' bones. Forgetting what happened when they last fed on us. Decimated. Hopefully it's not that bad. World Dead is my favorite map. I don't want them to ruin it. The new POIs look cool though. To win. Bolt skin? Okay. Bring the party. Rampage LMG. Yeah, I saw you. Okay, you can load it with a thermite. I saw people talking about that on Twitter. You can shoot their doors with it. I don't know how I feel about that. I have your attention. I will not waste it. Okay. See what that is. Oh, this is ultimate. It canceled that Valkyrie's ability. The outcast. Holy laser. Always watching. Now is our time to be seen. It's time to change the world. So initial thoughts, it looks okay for the most part. I don't know if this is going to be a huge season content wise. The new POI looks cool. Looks like they just showed refinery and put this place in. So that should be fun. But as far as the rest of it goes, the new character looks kind of underwhelming. It just looks like another blood on 2.0, but I'll have to wait and see till I actually try it and play it. But overall, it does look pretty positive so far, but I'm going to go through and pick out a couple of major things that I saw. So the first thing I noticed is that it looks like sorting factory is destroyed, which is confirmed on Twitter. I just saw it a little bit ago. And it looks like this is the new POI here. This could be either really good or really bad. Sorting Factory is a really popular place and it plays an important role in the pacing of the game. So if this spot isn't that good and a lot of people start dropping in other POIs, that could make the other POIs feel a lot more crowded. I just really hope this POI is good because I love Sorting Factory personally. It'll always hold a special place in my heart. Now one thing that I did notice is that it looks like there's a lot more lava spread out throughout the map. I really hope this isn't a bad thing, but just by looking at it, I don't really know what positives can come from big lava pools like this other than you know it looks nice and they want to force different rotations. Now that could could be really bad because if there's not enough routes and everything is obstructed by lava that's going to limit the amount of rotations you can do it's also going to make fights a lot more difficult considering that you guys are going to be shooting each other across from the lava and you're not going to be able to close that distance as easily as you could you'll have to plan out your rotations a little bit earlier but like i said we'll still have to see how it plays in game i'm sure it's not going to be that bad so this is one more look at the new sorting factory but i do think it's going to be kind of weird pushing these considering the only thing connecting them is a zip line and everything else is just lava i think a lot of fights here are going to favor long range weapons and it's going to be a lot harder to just brain dead ape push somebody but it still looks really nice it looks like it's going to have a lot of good loot but i do see the distance in the lava in between these being an obstacle 
So this is our first look at the new POI that's replacing refinery. Now it almost looks kind of like the same deal as with the new thing that's replacing the sorting factory, where it's a lot of buildings, but they're distanced apart and separated by lava. Like I said, it still looks really cool, but I do feel like it's going to be kind of annoying to fight at these. But I do like how they're making a bigger POI on that side of the map, because no one really drops over there. There's really only enough loot at refinery for one team. So opening this up and putting a big POI will hopefully attract more people there. I also like that this side of the map is going to have the OG lighting. I really miss that they took that out on season four. I know the whole map isn't going to be replaced with the original lighting, but just the fact that we have a half or even a little bit over half is a big deal and it's going to make the game look a lot better. So right here we have a new Valkyrie skin that looks nice. The new Volt skin, I guess this is going to be the new level 100 battle pass skin. So this is the new LMG. It looks kind of interesting. I've seen a couple of theories that it takes light ammo, but I've also seen people saying it takes heavy. And one of the interesting things that you can see here is that she puts a thermite in there and then later on she shoots the door and breaks the door down, which is what thermite grenades do. I don't know if this is going to be LMG specific or rampart specific, but either way, it's going to make for an interesting dynamic. So watch real quick right here. Closes the door, shoots the door down. Yep, that's nice. The iron sights on it look pretty good as well, so that should be interesting. I think it'll be fun to use. So these are the new arena maps. I'll be covering these in a separate video when I talk about arena ranked as well, so we'll just move past that for now. So onto the new legend seer. I really like the design that they went for here. It's very unique. I'm assuming this is his ultimate ability. It looks like it disables everything around him as you saw that Valkyrie Her jetpacks quit working. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. I'm personally not a fan of abilities like this, but it does look like there's a little drone that he sends out that you can shoot it. So at least it is somewhat counterable. Sort of like Horizon's ultimate where you can shoot it and it goes away. I do see this being slightly annoying, yet you have a tracker on enemies and I think it also allows you to track their footsteps as well. It also looks like this is the new level 100 uh, bolt skin. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I might actually use that when I get it. I don't like many of the other reactive skins, but this one looks like it could be nice. Okay, so overall first impressions, map changes look okay. It's definitely gonna spice things up, make the fights a lot more different. I could see it, however, making other POIs slightly more congested, but we'll have to wait and see if they're good or not. If they are pretty good and there is good loot there, then that shouldn't be a problem at all. New LMG looks cool. It's got nice iron sights. Hopefully it's not as overpowered as a Spitfire. Please respawn, I'm begging you to just those kind of weapons are not good for the game. They're fun to use, but from a balancing perspective, they're not that good. And also the new Legend Seer. Like I said, I love the design choice. I love his whole aesthetic. It's really cool. His abilities look cool as well, but personally, I'm not that much of a fan of recon characters where you just press a button and you automatically get intel. I do understand the need for a character like that, but I must prefer when people learn the game and use their game sense in order to make decisions and find out where people are instead of just pressing a button. He definitely looks very interesting though, and I can't wait to play him and try him out a little bit. But guys, those are my initial thoughts on the launch trailer. I'll be doing some more videos too where I cover all the map changes, the new arena changes, and also patch notes when those come out. So be expecting a lot of content here soon. But please let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm really eager to hear what your guys' thoughts are on this new season. Please remember to also leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe as well and hit that notification button. Be sure to check out all my other social media links down below. And also don't forget to follow my Twitch to see me play Apex and to watch me play when this new season drops. I'm so excited guys, there's a lot of content coming soon, which means a lot of videos for me, and hopefully a lot of streams as well. But anyways guys, that's gonna do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.